Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 11.1, .1, the Man Whitley U test, and section 11.2, Wilcoxon's signed ranks test for matched pairs. These are non parametric tests that evaluate the hypothesis that two samples come from the same statistical population. The Man Whitley U test is performed on samples where the data is independent. In this case, we are looking at the height of two samples of periwinkle distinguished by their position on the shore. No periwinkle is measured more than once. The data can be found in Table 11.1. The Wilcoxon Sign Ranks test for match pairs is performed on two samples where the same individual is measured twice under different conditions. In this case, our data concerns self assessed enjoyment of chocolate at two times of the day. Each individual is measured twice, with their self-assessed enjoyment rating of chocolate at 7am included in the data for the first sample, and their rating from 6pm included in data for the second sample. This type of data is said to be matched or paired. This data can be found in Table 11.2. I have entered the data from Table 11.1 .1 into Minitab in the form of two columns. C1 contains the heights from the lower shore periwinkles, and C2 the heights from the midshore periwinkles. So let's do the test. We're going to track up to stat and click down to non parametrics, a sub list opens, and down to man Whitney and click. I now have to instruct Minitab what variables I want it to analyse. I'm going up to first sample and selecting that box. It's the lower shore sample I'm going to place in there, so I select it and press the select button. I now go to the second sample, click the box if necessary to select it. I'm going to put the mid shore sample in that. I'm going to select it and press the select button. Ensure the confidence level is set at 95 and the alternative is not equal. I can then press OK. And here is the results. The probability value is given as 0 0.2702. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0.05, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. So, a probability of 0.2702 is larger than 0.05, so we do not reject the null hypothesis, and our conclusion is that there is no significant difference between the median shell height of the periwinkles from the mid and lower shore. The Wilcoxon sign rank test for match pairs is not straightforward in Minitab because there is not a direct command for this test. However, we can do a one sample Wilcoxon sign rank test on the difference between our data pairs. So first we need to calculate the difference. You can see that I have entered the data from table 11.2 into Minitab in two columns, with data from the same individual being in the same row. We are now going to calculate the difference between these paired data values and place it in a new column as follows. Track up to Calc and click, track down to Calculator and click. We're going to store the result in a variable, so we're going to click in the Store Result in Variable box and I'm going to enter the word Difference. I'm now going to enter the expression we want. I'm going to click the Expression box. I'm going to take the value in C1, Enjoyment Rating at 7am, select it and press the Select button. Now to get the difference, I need to take away the Enjoyment Rating from 6pm. So I'm going to press the subtract button to add subtract to the expression. Then select the enjoyment rating at 6 p.m. and press select. I'm now ready to press OK. And we see that the differences between the data values have been placed in column C3. We can now do the test. We track up to stat and click. We track down to non-parametrics and then one sample Wilcoxon. We now need to tell it the variable we want to use. We click on the variable box to select it if needs be. We're going to use column C3, the difference we have just calculated. I'm going to select that and press the select button. We then need to select the test median radio button and click. Leave the test median at zero and the alternative at not equal. Then press OK. We can see the results in the session window. The p-value is equal to 0 0.059. So a value of 0 0.059 means we do not reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is no significant difference between the median chocolate enjoyment rating at 7am compared to 6pm. 
I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.